Okay, so let's have a little look at how to unwind the silks. So in the same way as the cotton, we're going to be using, keeping the skein uncut, and we want to make sure we have our heavy objects with which to wrap the skeins around. So if you have the packs, you're going to want to very carefully unloop just by teasing out that loop at the top and just pull that out. Again, just smooth those down so they don't get all rubbed up. And you can see we've got a very small loop here. So when I do these, I double up the loop. So what this actually is, is only half the length. So what you're going to want to do is just move around and find that tie that goes all the way around the skein. And it will be the last one. There we go. So hopefully you can see in there. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, so can you see the tie here? There we go. Little tie. And you can see that it's only going round half of the amount of threads that was in that loop. So that you want to find and just tease apart. And there you're going to end up with the actual length of your skein. And this is going to be treated exactly the same way as we've done the cottons. So you find your two heavy objects and you're going to wrap the skein around them so that they've got some tensioning. So it can be a little bit less uh, easy just because it's a bit slippery um, and then we're going to move this round again so we can find that loop there we go can you see the the tie there and in exactly the same way we would cut through there and wrap it onto the cardboard the only other thing i'm going to show you is dealing with our 100 meter silk skeins now these are on our website and in the packs you get uh, 27 meters, but you can buy each individual color in 100 meters on the website. This looks quite different to how we sell our cotton skeins. And I do this simply so it doesn't catch. Um, in much the same way as the cotton, we're gonna take the tag off. We're gonna keep our fingers through that loop. So we keep the loop, keep the tag, it'll have the details on and just separate out the loops keep your fingers through them so you don't get anything wrong so this will end up being the bottom loop of the skein and where you've got these two here can you see that they're forming the twist so i can let go of this one now now that looks a lot more like the cotton skein that we're dealing with so what you must remember is that you've got it doubly looped so let that one fall and then you can undo the skein as per normal. Again, with the silk, <laughs> this is pretty. It can take a little bit more time just because it's a little bit different to the cotton. You'd wrap that round your two heavy objects again, stretch it out, and you can see we've got the, the tie here. So you'd cut it and unwind it as per normal. I'm going to do one more video in this series and that's going to be how to deal with the silk skeins, the 100 meter silk skeins, um, when you want to just cut them for use. Because it's a bit more slippery, we have a different way that I find it to keep it all nice and neat, and that's by plaiting it. So the next video will be that.